Hey, what up everybody? It's your boy Cow Kings. And today we're going to go ahead and watch ourselves a lovely video called I Got Locked with My Crush in His Car for Days. Uh, so it's one of those animated stories. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet, but you know, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Hope you all enjoy. Now one thing I gotta say real quick is that the animations are actually pretty good for some of these and I'll give credit where credit's due on that one. I'm Stacy, and this is my crazy story of spying on my crush and finding out his biggest secret. So already, you know, that's kind of weird. Uh, our girl here, our protagonist, I'm assuming, Miss Stacy, has talked about spying on her crush, which and of itself, do I have to really explain why spying is weird? You know, obviously, if it wasn't wrong, uh, you wouldn't do it behind somebody's back, right? I mean, come on, dog. But, you know, let's go ahead and see. We're not very far into the video, so we're going to go ahead and give her an honest chance. Just then, I saw it. The key to my reputation. My only salvation. I knew what I was going to do. The trunk of the car was unlocked, and I climbed in. From there, I got into the back seat and grabbed his jacket, and immediately I decided to smell it. Mm, it okay, so she got inside the dude's car without his permission, without his knowledge, and she just sniffs. Now imagine, homie, you know, he gets down from his car, he's trying to come home, and he sees this girl, you know, taking a big whiff, like, oh, and it's just like, what? Uh, like, how do you think that would have played out, little homie? Just then, he reached over to the back seat to get his jacket and jumped when he touched me instead. Not quite the electric moment I'd imagined our first touch to be. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my car? Before I could even say a word, he glared at me. Stay down and don't even breathe. The car door opened and his dis disgustingly gorgeous girlfriend hopped in then he started making out with her this was just getting better and better now obviously there's a few things wrong with that first of all if he reached in the back right and he saw that girl I, most people's reaction would be like yo what the fuck what are you doing here get the fuck out but no he said to get down this girl comes in he starts making out with her now, obviously, I'm not playing the whole video in its entire entirety out of respect and because I don't want to get copyright fucked, you know, by them or anything. But uh, um, previously, he uh, they mentioned that he was involved with criminals and that he was a catfish. You know, she was trying to take the moral high ground from being a stalker creep, right? And, uh, you know, unlawfully, uh, you know, I guess you'd call it breaking and entering into his car. Or maybe I'm wrong. Either way, it was definitely creepy shit, right? I don't have to be an expert in law to tell you that that was straight creeper vibes. But then I guess he, uh, we're supposed to believe that he had his girlfriend come in and, you know, start to make out for her while that girl still in the back seat. Like, all that girl would have to do would look back there for a split second and see her. Like, how would she hide behind the back seat of a car? Like, really, think about that. How are you going to hide? What are you going to hide under? Unless you're in the trunk, right? But, you know, the back seat would be very visible, even from the outside. Like, come on, dog. But whatever, right? Whatever, whatever. Let's go. That's the problem I have, is these are just not believable. Let's continue. Babe, we've been over this. I've told you that singing for you makes me feel cheap. I don't want to ruin the beauty of what we have. What nonsense. Finally, we reached the cabin. I was thrilled when they got out, but my problems weren't over. Just as they got out of the car, someone else got inside the car. The person started singing along to the songs it had been playing before, and I almost passed out. It was an angel's voice. This was Russell's onstage voice. So as you'll notice, uh, the, our main protagonist uh, likes to insult Russell over and over again because she says he's a catfish because he doesn't sound like his onstage voice. And again... You know, um, our, our, our hero, the, uh, the paragon of morals is, uh, constantly insulting Russell and then, uh, instantly falls in love with a complete stranger that she has no idea, just thinks, you know, oh, I have the, fi uh, I have the fee-fees down in my vagine, uh, for, for this guy's voice, but knows zero about him. And once again, um, 
we're gonna go ahead and see where this goes. Uh, totally believable, by the way. Russell kept staring daggers at me. Apparently, he no longer doubted his girlfriend because she kept giggling and blowing kisses at him. Dumb bimbo. His dad turned to me and asked me how I knew Russell. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick pause here. And as you notice, our, our protagonist loves just insulting uh, people and just throwing out insults. Does um So she doesn't even know the girl. She just knows that's Russell's girlfriend. But because they're having a good time, you know, dumb bimbo, right? And, and Russell, you know, to give you a little bit of backstory from the previous video, because I'm not trying to show the whole video in its entirety, uh, thinks that one of them was spying on him and trying to blackmail him. And so, he, you know, he's pretty much convinced that his girlfriend isn't the girl, which I'm going to assume that plot twist is probably going to be the girl, you know. I'm just going to take a wild guess. And so our protagonist throws out some more insults, you know, just because she likes being negative for the sake of being negative. Russell's dad still looked furious. As soon as he saw me, he coldly said that they couldn't let me go just yet. So now, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's illegal to hold somebody at a place against their will. At that point, it would be considered kidnapping, uh, amongst other things. And so I don't know why she didn't use her phone. And she was, uh, she was by herself for a while, and the power went out. That would have been a perfect time for her to use her phone call the authorities, you know, and even if she didn't talk, just, you know, leave it on 911, you know, leave it quiet, and they could have tracked her down, you know, because obviously she sounded like she was in danger, and she had all night to do this as well. She came up here in the morning, uh, despite her kidnappers, uh, you know, uh, holding her hostage pretty much uh, at this point, and clearly they're hostile, they don't mean good, so I don't know why she's chilling around, right? Uh, just some food for thought. At this point, I didn't even want to look at Russell. But when Aaron said he had to expose Russell's dad, I couldn't say no looking into his beautiful eyes. So, keep in mind, this girl's uh, only been with this dude for like a night and she's completely infatuated with him. Just head over heels, barely knows the dude in the worst of circumstances. And yet, for some reason, is just totally in love with him. Uh, one night. One night. One fuck it. Okay. Hopefully, everyone kind of forgave Aaron's dad. Aaron himself stopped taking Russell's money and started singing in small cafes and he was gathering a following of his own. But he kept telling them he'd already given his heart to someone else. So that was pretty cool. Um, it was definitely not, like, boring by any means. It was a good story. Uh... And I've seen far worse. I've seen far worse. So overall, I say uh, the channel is, uh, you can see it right there, my story animated. Uh, I don't know if they have other videos, but this wasn't the worst one. I'll say that. Now, I don't, I don't think it was very realistic, but it wasn't terrible. I, I've seen far worse. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. And as always, take it easy.